Hi, and welcome to episode zero of Devin and Dan's Tome of Uselessness. Tomb. Tome. 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 I got it right the first time. You were. Did it. Did it. it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, this is our podcast. I'm Devin. I'm Dan. The end. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> um, so we're, we've been friends for like 13 years. We both worked in a movie theater. Mm-hmm. Um, both as projectionists, so we've seen a lot of movies. A lot of movies. In our time. <laughs> All the movies. They were great. Every single movie. Yeah. The end. <laughs> well, for a good chunk of years, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, yeah, and... That's it. Yeah. We have, no, <laughs> we have a lot of the same interests, so we both are avid readers mm. and enjoy the books. A lot of books and comics, graphic and comics. novels. Yeah, totally. Definitely enjoy them a lot. Uh, we like the nerd shit. Yeah. For, you know, basically. <laughs> yeah, basically the idea here is the content will be mostly geared in that direction. Movies, TV shows, video games, board games, books, comics... Graphic novels, I'm sure. Anime at some point. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to just talk about all the harem animes. Yes. Yeah. We will go through them in the Netflix archive. (laughs) Yeah, which is my jam. Yeah. It's a Devin specialty. (laughs) We can talk about whatever we want because it's our podcast. We can talk about music. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yeah. We like a lot of... No, do we like the same music? I don't know. Varying, I think. Yeah. I think there's some bands that we both really enjoy mm-hmm. and then and then everything that you like that i don't is dumb mm-hmm. yeah 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 That's, <laughs> wait why am i wrong <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so this is our podcast you can expect us to talk about whatever is on our mind we're gonna try to stick to one topic a week yeah definitely like one in a show will be like one topic yeah or yeah one per episode sorry yeah not per week um, well, well, and I would say, or like, for example, if we were going to do something about movies, we might talk about like a category of movies or like maybe a certain director's works. Um, but or it would a be, specific movie. Yeah. Or be, we'll talk about a specific like movie. Yeah. Right? But we, we won't be too all over the place, hopefully. I would hope so as well. I guarantee nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. What you can uh, expect us not to talk about is politics. I would hope not politics, yes. Yeah, I'm not really down with that. <laughs> I mean, like, we have our opinions, but I don't really want to, like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's too sad. <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and I don't think we'll be going into anything, you know, sports related or well, maybe. this or that. Maybe. We could talk about climbing. Sure. Well, I mean, I'm an avid climber. But you're, like, pretty nerdy about climbing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as before mentioned, I am a nerdy individual, <laughs> and so, you know, when you get into something, you get into it, right? Then you start... We could talk about paintball. Again, you can be pretty nerdy about paintball. Sure. Well, I'm not so much these days, but I was thinking, for example, like, uh, the video game Dota 2, right? Um, not only do I play it, but of course I follow the pro Snore. scene. <laughs> Devin, not the biggest fan, but like I would probably talk for far too long about the recent Dota TI event, and it could be kind of interesting, especially if I had someone who's not as big of a fan to maybe check out some of the stuff. But I don't know if that oh, would me? be. Oh, me? Yes, you. Okay. Uh, exactly. Like, I'm part of this. You can't kick me out. To no, talk about that's Dota. what I'm saying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, like like she was saying, you know, you, you can get into anything, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, you can also expect us not to talk about things like... I don't know, any really... I'm going to say we're probably going to steer clear of any really controversial things like i'm not and i'm not talking about like controversial <laughs> like how i, I don't hate like this movie yeah john snow <laughs> but i mean controversial like like uh what are they called not, drugs? No, not drugs. <laughs> the ones you give to babies that people don't. Oh, vaccinations. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we won't. <laughs> <laughs> we probably won't go into that or anything. It's it's not it's not a political show. It's yeah. not a debate. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh... Although I do want to talk about the car fentanyl. <laughs> what? <laughs> Drug joke. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we do live in Vancouver, so it would make sense. Yes. Um. <laughs> 
But basically, if it's if it's um, if it's not superficial, <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we won't be speaking about anything useful. Yeah, the idea is you know entertain, talk about things that entertain us, and hopefully entertain others. <gasps> oh my god, we should have a if we have an episode on Dota, then we should have an episode on Drag Race. Yeah. Like, oh it's man. Super fucking nerdy about that. Yeah, you definitely could get into that. <laughs> oh my god. Exactly right. So things that entertain us, entertain others, and hopefully you know bring in a different perspective or some commentary or you know just our thoughts on whatever. It might be the same of your thoughts. It might be different. Who knows? Oh, well, exactly right. Let's so, find out. <laughs> let's find out. What do they know? <laughs> <laughs> um. So we were we are planning on doing bi-monthly episodes like mm. every other week. Um. For now. Yeah. We in may... the future, who knows? Exactly. Well, or like like we were talking about, if I want to do maybe a quick shout out thing about like something like a Dota or a board game or what have you that Devin doesn't want to be involved with because it's everything. It would, it would snooze her Just out. Stand so. now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but you know, something like that could crop up. Or yeah. vice versa, right? Like like you're saying, Drag Race or, you know, drag some race, kind of dra- sweet race, drag race. <laughs> other Netflix show you discover, right? You can be like, here's my quick thoughts on it, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. I do binge watch a lot of shows. Yeah, far more than I do. Yeah, I'm pretty, actually, if, if there's anything that I could be a world champion at, I think it would be binge watching. <laughs> You'd be in the running? <laughs> we'll just, we'll have an episode where I just talk about The Good Wife for a long time. Sure. <laughs> Great show. <laughs> Binge-worthy. Yeah, you've you've recommended that. Yeah, and you haven't watched it yet. No, I'm way behind. <laughs> <laughs> so we are planning on putting this out on all podcast platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, and right now, you can find us on Instagram. Our thingy, what is it called? Username? Handle? Uh, I'm actually not sure what Instagram calls it, but yeah, you can find us at... Our instant name, yeah, uh, sure, <laughs> is at tome, t o m e, underscore of underscore uselessness, and we'll post stuff on there. Mm-hmm. And by we, I mean I will post stuff on there. <laughs> Dang, my content's already cut. <laughs> <laughs> Expect beautiful plates of food, and um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't take pictures of food. Well, I think. I think we work well together, Mm -hmm. and I think this might be interesting because, um, well, because we've known each other for a long time. Yes. um, We can have conversations where sometimes one of us doesn't even need to be present. (laughs) (laughs) And Mm -hmm. we're pretty good, like, you're pretty good at ignoring me when I say stupid things and just carrying on with the conversation. <laughs> and I think I'm pretty good at calling you out when you've been talking for 20 minutes. Well, you just stop listening at a certain point. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we only need one person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and like you we were saying earlier, we both nerd out about different things or different aspects of certain things and so that's what works well if we talk about something um where we either both enjoy it or we both have different views for example your hatred of certain characters or Jon Snow yes or <laughs> this or that oh let's do a lightning round really oh, quick crap. <laughs> okay okay um, so I'm gonna ask you a question okay and then you'll answer mm-hmm. and then I'll answer too okay and then you can either ask or whatever, but to give give the listeners a um, an idea of the things we like oh, ahead of I time see. without get, going too much into it, just one word sure. answers. Okay. Okay. So, favorite fantasy film? Lord of the Rings. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, it was the best. <laughs> yeah, but which one? Ooh, I'm gonna have to say the Fellowship. I was gonna go with the second one, the two, two towers. towers. Yeah. Two towers is really excellent. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty excellent. Okay, favorite sci-fi movie? <sighs> Gotta go Star Wars. Empire Strikes Back. Don't you think that Star Wars kind of is more like space fantasy? Space yes. Space fantasy than yes. sci-fi. It's not hard sci-fi, but it's okay. Soft great. sci-fi. <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars. Empire I'll agree with Back. you on that. Hard sci-fi. Um, like the most sigh that you can sigh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, because that... 
Oh, man. I feel like I'm dropping the ball because I haven't seen Primer, which I hear is really amazing hard sci-fi. You can't, you can't like, I, like a movie that you haven't seen that's yet. That's what I'm saying. I, Dan. I, <laughs> I um, I'm on the spot here on this one. Oh, there's too many genres that blend together. I don't know. What do you got? I was going to say Gattaca. Oh, yeah. Good answer. Right? Gattaca's a great movie. Gattaca's a... Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. just a good movie. I've been movie. thinking a lot about Gattaca lately. Yeah. I don't know why. It's just popping my brain. It's really, really great. It's really great. Yeah. Like, everybody in that movie is great in their roles. Yeah. Um, Like, Uma Thurman's great and... Yeah. But the others... <laughs> Who's it? Jude Law, isn't Jude it? Jude Law. But no, the other... Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke. Yeah, yeah. I, I kept trying to say... Uh, even McGregor for some right. reason, but I get them mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of people mixed sure. up. Well, let's just go with what's your favorite Marvel so far and the new crop of Marvel films, oh, MCU stuff. That's a good question. I'm going to go with Thor 2. No, I'm just kidding. Not out yet. As of <laughs> or so- Thor 3. It also not out <laughs> yeah. yet. As, uh, no, or Thor, Thor 2, sorry. Yeah. No. I'm the one confused now. No, I meant Thor 3. I got yes. confused. I was talking right. about... Yeah. But no, um, like... Doctor Strange was great, mm. and I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed Benedict Cumberbatch. Yes. Um, I haven't seen Spider-Man Homecoming. Me neither yet. Yeah. We'll have to watch it. Yeah, absolutely. And review it. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I know it's not popular, but uh, a popular opinion, but I actually really enjoyed Captain America 3 Civil War. Oh, Civil War, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. For me, my top would be actually Captain America: The Winter Soldier. I haven't seen it. It's it was the best. It's Wait, is that the second one? It's the second one. Yeah. I have seen the second one. I never saw the first one. The first one is a standard origin stuff, but the yeah. second one, they, I mean, it's Captain America, Jason Bourne, and they'll never make that again, unfortunately. But yeah. man, it was great. <laughs> I I did enjoy that one yeah. a lot too. I'm trying to think of. I mean, the Iron Iron Man was great. Iron Man kind of yeah catalyst. Kicked it off. Yeah. Yes. But, and um, the first Avengers was great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the second Avengers I liked, too. Oh, for sure. No, I just... Yeah, but like low-key, me... like, uh, Tom Hiddleston really yes. stole the first Avengers. Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay, so follow-up question. Favorite DC movie? I was thinking if you were going about to throw that <laughs> yeah. at me or vice versa. And again, depending on if you want to go with the, like, the... The Zack Snyder DC new ones. Uh, oh, right. Because right. otherwise, obviously, Dark Knight. But if you're going to say that, then I would actually have to go with probably Wonder Woman was... Yeah, I would just straight up go with yeah, Wonder Woman. But I'm was, also, like, a huge Wonder Woman fan. You are. But it was, like I was saying before, it was the first one of that new crop where I enjoyed the movie and had nitpicks and not vice versa, where I didn't enjoy the movie but liked things in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where it was the first one where I was like, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. Let's see... Top three books. Mm. Top three books. Yeah. Wow. Um, kind of nebulous, but Dune would be in there. Uh, yes. <laughs> I hate Dune. I know you do. And actually, I really enjoyed so far the Stormlight Archive by Sanderson. Both of them were really incredible. And I know that's two books, mm-hmm. but it's a trilogy, I think. Okay. And then... Uh, or 15 books, Or 15, knows? yeah, I don't even know at this point. And... I mean... I think I'm going to have to go back to an old Dragonlance book and probably say... Going to be the middle one, middle one, I think, would be The Dragons of Winter, I think. Which mm. is... It's like that, that series got me into fantasy. <laughs> right, so, nice, yeah. yeah. And that series is really... It's classic if you haven't read that. I'd recommend it. <laughs> Excellent. I think I'd have to go with um, Wrinkle in Time mm. because I've read it so many times and it's been my favorite since I was a kid. Mm. Um, yeah, now that I think there's... Oh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to go with the Deborah Harkness trilogy of books that I cannot remember the name I of, don't know the name But either. it's a trilogy like... It's a really, it's got vampires and shit in it, but it's mm. really well written. Mm. And it's, um, it's interesting because like Deborah Harkness is actually a PhD and she studies, um, alchemy oh, really? books oh, okay. specifically. Yeah. So she's got all this, like, it's about a magical book that a professor at a university uh, comes across when she's <laughs> studying and blah, blah, blah. Writes what she knows? <laughs> yeah, she writes what she knows, yeah. but it's really well written. Oh, cool. And it's a trilogy, and it's, it's very good. Nice. And then for my third one, 
I don't know, it's tough. Because there's, like, books that have really impacted me when I've read them. Yeah. And there's books that I've really enjoyed and reread mm-hmm. a bunch of times because I enjoy them. Well, and that's what I was just thinking. I was like, if you asked me right now which book I'd want to read again in the, like, tomorrow. Yeah. And I'd probably say Good Omens. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it's great. <laughs> oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw out what the two I was going to say, and I'm going to actually say American Gods. American Gods, yeah, yeah it's also great. It would, again, yeah, I really Neil enjoyed Neil Gaiman, that. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So... It's yeah, like that's, that's a hard one. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's okay, wait. It's pretty nebulous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I should have been like, "What's your favorite Neil Gaiman book?" Yeah, exactly. Because, <laughs> like you say, like uh, you don't enjoy Dune. I very much enjoy Dune up to a point. I felt that it becomes bloated and blah blah blah. Yeah. But man, that first book, it's incredible. It was impossible to read. I don't yeah. know how it sold any copies. <laughs> um, <laughs> I also like. You know that my like love hate affair with Kelly Armstrong, who's yes. like a Canadian author. Yes. Um, who writes? She wrote a series of books called *The Women of Other World*, which is garbage. Like it's trash. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's like cheesy paranormal romance. Yeah, but thriller, enjoyable stuff, right? But I really enjoy reading them. Yeah. Most of them. There were a few that were like real misses for me in that series. Yeah. And then she's written this other series called Canesville. And mm. the first book was great. <laughs> and the second and third one were garbage. Yes. And it was supposed to be a trilogy. And then she wrote a fourth one. And that was okay. <laughs> and the fifth one was pretty good. And it basically kind of maybe wrapped things uh-huh, up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Until the sixth book is released next sixth, year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll go buy it and yes. hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, and you're not as much into. But what about board game? Favorite board game? Oh. Um. Okay. The board game that I could play over mm. and over sure. and over and over again. Yeah. Is uh, Ticket to Ride. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good answer. Yeah. I like that game. Sure. <laughs> I like the hatred that it causes. <laughs> Many games can cause that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yours. Well, and yeah, I was gonna say someone asked me this the other day, and man, I had a real tough time coming up with an answer because I like so many board games, and for different reasons and yeah. different genres and etc. And that I couldn't even answer them back then. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh no, no. I mean, I gotta say something I really enjoy, but probably not my favorite. Would be something like um, like Battlestar Galactica, something okay, that yeah, has yeah, like that political tension. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, you can you know who's that, the traitor. That one who's is not. really fun because it's once you get over that initial like bump, it's mm. really easy to play too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it has some good mechanics and yeah. it's very enjoyable. But I actually, I really enjoy playing those kind of games, and so does my group where. We're not really all friends. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's like someone's trying to mess me over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that kind of thing we definitely, I definitely enjoy. So. Favorite anime? Oh, it's Akira. But Is if you're talking about a series, I'd probably go yeah, with... Yeah, series. If, you gotta go with Robotech. Robotech, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen either of those. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to watch Akira and talk about it then. <laughs> okay. I would go with Oran Academy. Nuts, yes. Because I do like harem anime. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And that's a reverse harem anime, mm-hmm. which makes it even better. Well, in Robotech, uh, in its... And also Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, Robotech was one of the first I watched. Yeah, that makes sense. As a big sense. series. So, of course, I had a lasting impression. Yeah. <laughs> like, I really like Oran, and I could watch that over and over again, and mm. I could just have it on in the background kind mm-hmm. of thing. But I think Cowboy Bebop is clearly a better crafted yes <laughs> show show yeah. right <laughs> yeah if yeah. I'm being honest <laughs> no, yeah. favorite sci-fi show it's, it's next gen Star Trek next really? generation not not Firefly is you never got into it the way I got no I enjoyed Firefly but you hated it I again <laughs> next gen when was when I was a child yeah watched it every week you know sat down with the fam that's true and it's pretty incredible and in fact I but X Files. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, is that sci-fi? Uh, that's what I would yeah. say. You know, if you're gonna, it's kind of in that genre, but not entirely. But again, yeah. the X Files would probably be one of my favorite sci-fi shows. Yeah, I'd go with Firefly. Yeah. Or Lex. <laughs> Ooh, Lex was Lex good. was good. Yeah, I unfortunately didn't get to see it as much. Oh, I have all of them on DVD. I'll I remember I was working. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, favorite horror movie. Ooh. 
Yeah, I'm not a big horror aficionado, but I'm trying to think. Um, you, you know, the first thing that popped in my head, Saw. Saw one. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen it. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. I was going to go with, like, Evil Dead 2. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a really solid pick too. Yeah, I was thinking of something like a like one of the like the original Nightmare on Elm Street. It's really good. Yeah, but that's it's not like sticks, sticks out. Some of these like newer kind of genre crossing mm-hmm. horror movies are right. cool. Like Tucker and Evil. T- sorry, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Yeah, was really good and funny and kind of had a weird take on horror. Mm-hmm. And um, Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, I actually been meaning to watch that so bad and that's just it like to you say like if you're gonna say that i mean alien yeah is yeah that's true uh, one of the most finely crafted horror films ever or is it a sci-fi film right but (laughs) no i think it's both it's both for sure but it's like i could watch alien over and over and over again yeah that's fair (laughs) okay we should wrap this up this is a shorter episode normally our episodes will be around an hour yeah i definitely hope for the hour mark or name Four hours if we're talking about something I like. Yeah, we'll, we'll split it for you. <laughs> well, four hours of my breakdown of Warren Academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Episode by episode. <laughs> and all shot my, by like, shot. My, like, pairings in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, well, um, once again, you can find us on Instagram at Tome of Uselessness mm-hmm. with underscores in between Tome of and uselessness. Yeah. <laughs> um... Or you can find us individually on Instagram. Uh, my Insta name is at Lady Adventure for Hire, and Dan's is at Loki604. Yeah, that's the only place you can find us right now. You could email us at Devin and Dan, T O U, at gmail.com, but we probably won't answer. Well, well, maybe we'll answer. And obviously a website in the future, but... Yeah, it's not happening yet, though. Not, not there yet. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to rate and review us on iTunes, because it helps people who don't know us see us. And then we'll... And we'd like that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Download it. <laughs> Download us. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Cool. Um, thanks again, and I hope you would... Download the show and Download. enjoy. <laughs> Bye.